Iranian women and the Islamic revolution. Can you guess where these photos are from? Believe it or not, these images are from Tehran in Iran and not so long ago too. So what's happening in Iran right now? Thousands have taken to the streets across Iran to protest against Masa Amini's death and over Iran's hijab rules and fundamentalist practices of the Islamic government. The protests are escalating more because Iranian women do not see the death of Masa Jina Amini and the authorities crack down as an isolated event, but rather the latest example of the government's systematic repression and persecution of its own people. How did all of this start? The protests happening for the last few weeks were catalyzed by the murder of the young Masa Amini. She is said to have been killed by the hardline Islamic religious police called the Guidance Patrol. This notorious morality police are enforcers of the conservative Islamic regime and dictates social behavior that have governed daily life for Iranians since the 1979 revolution. Masa Amini was allegedly not wearing the traditional hijab, which is mandatory for women in public spaces. She was forcefully arrested, taken to a detention center where she was to undergo re-education. Three days later, on September 16th, she was declared dead. The history of women's rights in Iran. There was a time when the women of Iran were as free as in any developed Western country. They could wear exactly what they liked. The hijab was widely and proudly worn by those who wanted to. But many women also chose to wear Western-style clothes, including jeans, miniskirts and swimsuits too. There were no restrictions of any sort. Women also had equal access to education and jobs. They could become whatever they chose to become. Thousands served in the government and were employed in all kinds of ways. But everything changed after the Iranian revolution. This uprising in Iran in 1978 and 79 resulted in the toppling of the monarchy and led to the establishment of an Islamic Republic. The leader of this revolution was the ultra-conservative Ayatollah Khomeini. He brought in hyper-orthodox changes to Iran, not least for women. One area that came under scrutiny is the way women dress and wear their hair. And in the early 1980s, the new Islamic authorities imposed a mandatory dress code that required all women to wear the hijab after the revolution. In today's Iran, a woman cannot travel without her husband's permission, seek or hold employment without a male relative's permission, most bizarre of all, show her hair in public places. Women are also separated from men in the workplace Girls and boys have different classrooms and women are even supposed to sit at the back of the bus. Basically, any societal change requires a movement. And what's happening in Iran today is indicative of massive changes ahead. Men have historically been trying to control women. But let's hope that changes. The present Iranian government is fighting a losing battle as the revolution sparked by Masa Amini's death is growing like a tsunami with women's rights at its center. More power to them, every step of the way. Show your support for this movement at these websites and pages too. See a ton of stories like this and so much more on our Instagram channel too.